an old place, a 50s-style rancher that's about to have a new image and purpose. This used to be the Houston County Jail as recently as two decades ago, a house with a couple of cells inside, the bars still upright. But soon, about 18 months' worth of construction will start. It is going to be a challenge. It's a, it's a very old building, um, but it, it has a lot of potential. It's a very well-built building, and uh, I think Miss Annette said that it has good bones. These are the keys to the jail. Miss Annette is Annette Cole, family and consumer sciences agent with UT Extension here. She's led the effort to renovate the old jail, to create new space for extension programming, the refurbished building ready to serve this community in a much different way. But first, a little of the fascinating history here. It was the sheriff's home. He and his wife lived there and they added the jail and attached it to the back of the house. Uh, his wife cooked all the meals. The center will be partially funded by a nearly half million dollar grant from the Tennessee Department of Health. In the future, we'll see exercise, gardening, cooking, and food preservation classes taught here by UT Extension. The community has a high obesity and diabetes rate with limited areas where people can exercise, just a few walking trails. But the old jail, when the work is done, could mean a healthier Houston County. The new place will be called the Community Connection Food and Fitness Center. Our thoughts are that if we change the way they cook, the way they eat, the way they exercise, that it will have an impact on the, uh, on the chronic conditions that are here. UT Extension has limited room in the county courthouse, but the new center will give agents another space where they can teach, including 4-H programming. And so this is going to be really great for us. We're going to have the whole basement is going to be for 4-H. So aside from our programs, I'm hoping that it will also just be a place where the kids feel comfortable and safe to just come and hang out. The demolition and new construction will start in a few weeks with plans to use county inmate labor to save money. People are excited for this project, space needed for lifestyle changes and better health, and a way to turn something old into something useful. This is Charles Denny reporting.